Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about all of the luxury items that I have sold in Y. If you like this kind of videos, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe. So, And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, so you guys can get notified. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first one I'm going to be talking about is my Louis Vuitton Agenda in MM size or this is what they call the, I think it's the medium size and it was in monogram and I believe I got it back in 2017, 2016. I think when I got it, it was still about one, six, $610. I'm not sure how much it is going for at the moment, um, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot higher than that. So the reason why it's it's beautiful it's a beautiful agenda and I like how it's just an agenda and you can actually customize whatever type of refill you want to put in it. Of course, Louis Vuitton sells their own, which is always um, really great as far as like theming. I remember I bought the um, their refill two years in a row, and it's all about travel, which I am a big fan of. So I really really like that. Um, however, the reason why I sold that particular item is I'm just not a I'm just not an agenda person. I think the reason behind I got it is I had this thought in my head that oh I'm gonna go ahead and start doing a lot of organization and I'm gonna write things down and um, so I started you know going into like Instagram and YouTube. I think YouTube mainly where a lot of people actually were able to customize their um, agenda. And put a lot of stickers and uh, beautiful stuff like you know a lot of them actually also didn't use the Louis Vuitton refill and you can buy different refills from you know Amazon Etsy um, other places and you can customize it you can make it as pretty and so I had that in my head and that idea of I'm gonna have this agenda and make it really personal and you know make it pretty and what whatnot it was good as an idea but I just never really got into it so I felt like it was more of a waste of money um, because I am not that kind of person I'm trying to be but I wasn't so I was like I think I had it for about three years and then eventually let go of it um, and it was still in pretty pristine condition pretty good condition I actually like new when you know I sold it so um, I made money from it so it just which is good because obviously with the price increases it's one of those things that you can always bank on that as long as an item is something that's still really well sought after and you know it's in a good condition you can almost make your money back from it if not make profit which is you know always a good thing but that's uh the reason why so the second item is actually it's funny because i have it now in a di different print but the second item that I sold is actually my very first Neverfull MM in um, monogram with Pivoin, Pivoin interior. It's like the dark pink, the dark pink interior. And I think I'm the reason why I got that in the first place was, and instead of like the Dummy Ben with your interior, which I always gravitated towards was when we went to the store I don't think I I think they didn't have the one that I wanted so I was like well you know I really wanted a Neverfull MM so let me go ahead and take a look at it and I think it's just kind of like a like a rush almost like you went to the store and you got that one and this was when I was like a lot younger so you know judgment when you're a little bit younger and not really the best but I got it and it was fine I was you know happy I used it quite a bit um, but it just never it never really felt right or not that it didn't feel right it it was great because it's never full you can fit a lot and I think and I didn't have an organizer back then and I think that's part of the reasons why is it's a it became like a black hole I didn't really bring a lot of things with me so it's not really to a point where it's too super heavy to carry it's just that everything is jumbled and i that kind of irritated me so that's one second the strap every time i'm about to like use it and put it on my shoulder when i go you know i use it and then we'll go walk shop things like that it kept falling and so that 
bug me to no end. And um, I just, and I tried to like play around with it. I tried to like cinch it, see if that's going to be better, but it's, it just never worked. And so I, when I was kind of like looking at my collection, I was like, mm, instead of like that making me really happy and excited, that really didn't give me any excitement at all. So I sold it and um, it was a good, I was able to sell it for a good price too, which is good. And so I know that I have the Neverfull MM again, but this was the, my original um, pattern that I, or print that I actually wanted, which is a dummy Ben in um, cherry interior. And so I use it mainly for work. I haven't really had any issues with it, but I mean, I haven't really used it a ton as far as like, you know, going out. So I only use it for when I go to work. So I, you know, take it, put it in the car, from car parking to the clinic, and then, you know, back to the car. So as far as like toting it around, I haven't really done that, but for the purpose that I actually am using it for, it's working just fine. And I think I just like that print better, like a lot better actually. So, and because of the strap being a lot more stiffer compared to the monogram version, which is the non-treated leather, it's a lot stiffer so it has more it doesn't like fall off it has more structure so and i have my organizer so a lot different from the very first time that i've had it i think i don't have this um bag anymore but the third item that i've sold is the louis vuitton kensington in a dummy event print and it had the brown suede or microfiber into micro suede microfiber interior it's very similar to the Pushemitis interior and that particular piece I actually got it from our very first trip in Paris so it's a memorable piece and I it's almost kind of like I don't want to sell it because of that you know sentimental value to it however it's it just sat in my closet and I never really used it again and I think for a, a an item to just sit there and it's like pretty pricey I'm like mm, you know what it's not worth it so I ended up selling it so it's a really big bag it's a very structured bag um, however I think it's too big for me knowing that I'm mostly a small purse person like I like crossbody I like straps that one had a strap and you can wear it cross you, know, you can wear it shoulder like shoulder bag but it just was too big too bulky for me like the bag itself is huge and I'm not really a huge bag person. So it didn't have a zipper. So that kind of made security a lot less. And it had like a divider in the middle, which is, you know, good for organization. But other than that, I really didn't use a lot of it. I, I just think that it was way too big for what I was looking for. And I think when I first saw it and I tried it and I was like, oh, this is a huge bag. and the price was actually pretty reasonable so I was like okay well I want to get it and it's gonna be you know my um, souvenir from from Paris so I think that was mainly not really mainly but one of the reasons why I had it in my collection for probably two years and then I eventually let it go it's pretty I just didn't use it so I had to let it go okay so um, the next item it's the Chris, uh, Louis Vuitton Crescent in Dami Ben with the cherry interior. So this one I actually haven't had a chance to use it so I don't even know if I really should add it, I mean include it in this video but I did sell it so I think I should. However as far as like using it I didn't really have a chance to so the reason why is so I got it from um, Hawaii uh, on a um, 2021 like August, July August 2021 and so uh, if you for for those of you who don't know Hawaii um, prices are a lot not really a lot cheaper than the mainland USA I think they're about 10% cheaper because you know their tax is also lower and I was looking for the corset for the longest time and I wanted in the dummy event print because I don't have a lot of dummy event in my collection I have a lot of a monogram which I like but I wanted variety so I was looking for that purse for a long time and then everywhere I looked it was it's not like not in stock non-existent I tried you know Sacramento Los Angeles um, even when we were in Atlanta I wasn't there so when we went to Hawaii I finally you know I went to 
I think three Louis Vuitton store and one of them had it. The only one apparently in the whole Hawaii or Honolulu. I don't know about Maui because we didn't go to Maui. But I got it. I, I somewhat inspected it. Um, made sure that, you know, all the stitching and whatnot is like perfect. Um, and I was like, okay, I'll get it. So it was like the rest of was happy, so glad. I got it. I didn't really use it immediately after we got back. I think it sat in my closet for probably a month or two. And then when I was about to use it, I noticed that when you stand it, it doesn't want to stand. It's like, like pretty much, it's kind of like lopsided. So instead of like standing like this, it was lopsided to the side. So every time that you try to stand, it doesn't want to stand on its own and it falls on its on the front, on, on its face, on its front. That drove me crazy to no end. So I know it's very trivial and people are probably like, well, you know, it's just, that's just one thing. You should have probably just kept it. But to me, if it's already driving me nuts from just, I haven't even used it and it's already kind of like driving me crazy because it doesn't want to stand on its own. Yes, it doesn't have feet, but I've seen it before where you can actually put it on the table and it will stand. And to me, that's very important because, you know, if you go to the restaurant, you want to set it on the table. You don't want it to keep falling, right? So um, it was, as far as like size and um, what I'm looking for, I checked all the mark. It's the dummy band print. It's cherry interior. It had a strap. It's not, you know, big. It can fit just my essentials. It's fine. It's just it didn't want to stand. So I got rid of it. And um, will I get it again? I'm not sure. Depends. It has to be, it's like right now I'm not something, I'm not, it's not something that I'm like, oh, I gotta have it. I'm like actively looking for it. But maybe one day if the price is still right and it, it checks all the boxes, it stands on its own, it's got perfect stitching and whatnot. I might, but right now I'm, you know, it's okay. Not, I'm okay not having it in my collection. So the next one is the... Uh, Josephine, a Louis Vuitton Josephine wallet in a monogram with the pivon or the dark pink interior. So I actually purchased this wallet to match the original Neverfull monogram that I had, the one that I sold. And I think back in the day when I was, you know, when I buy a purse, it needs to have a matching wallet with it. Not in, not now, not anymore. But um, and I didn't realize that I wasn't really into big wallets or long wallets. So I think I've only had two long wallets from Louis Vuitton. Actually, like, you know, my luxury designer items, not luxury items, because I've had a lot of like long wallets from other contemporary um, designers and I've actually sold all of them. So I don't have any more long wallets except for the last one that I'll be talking about. But the Josephine wallet is the um, long wallet. It I believe is a trifold. It's got a lot of, um, it's got a lot of slots and it has, it had a removable um, insert. So you can um, remove that, put some stuff in it. And I'll try to insert a picture if I can find it. But it was fine for what it was. I just didn't really gravitate towards it after I stopped using my never full mm in monogram and i just didn't have any um desire to use it it's still it was still in great condition like like new condition and so i ended up just sat in my shelf for a long time so i was like you know what i think it's time so i took a good look at it one more time i listed it and it got sold right away yeah and so that being said I actually still have this right here, which is actually something that I am also trying to um, sell. I listed it, I'm trying to get rid of it. And this is the Clemens wallet in uh, Dame Event with Cherry Interior. So this one I actually got as a pair for my Speedy B25 in Dame Event Cherry Interior, which is, um, you guys have seen it in my luxury uh, Louis Vuitton collection 2022. So again, like I said before, when I would buy something, a purse, it had to match, it had to have a matching wallet. And so this is what I got. And this is actually still in really great condition. This is also like like new, no sm it smells like, smells like leather really, um, no cracks whatsoever, no stickiness. It's like, it, I barely use this, but then again, similar point to 
what I was trying to make or why the reason similar reasons why I sold the Josephine was it's a long wallet I don't really use long wallets anymore and I just uh, I'm more of a compact person compact gal and so I you know I don't have any use for it I haven't used it in a while so I'm getting rid of it but it's still in really great condition so if you guys are interested in this let me know um, it is listed on Facebook marketplace I believe it's also listed in um, Facebook group Louboutin not sure but if you guys are interested let me know it's in a really great condition yeah. that I've that being said I went ahead and got me the Louis Vuitton zippy coin purse which I actually unbox in box in this channel I think that was the very first video that I have put up for you guys to watch and I am sad to say that I've actually let go of that one as well it's, it's fairly new actually it was a new item I haven't even used it but uh, the reason why, and I think the size of that one was actually half the size of the um, Clements wallet. So the reason why I got rid of it is not because it's big, but the zipper, the zipper was more of a um, gold. It's not really gold, it's like metal. So versus this one right here, you guys see how it's all leather tab and it's very nice and flexible. The Zippy Coin had a um, gold or metal zipper, so and it's every time it hits the sides, it's like it, I don't know, it just got scratched or dented or whatever, and it, I felt like it just got in the way. Um, and the zipper of that particular piece that I had was it was okay. It's not the hardest, but it's not the smoothest and you know, I Don't know. I just didn't like using it. it I didn't like I didn't haven't even used it I didn't like it. I didn't feel I didn't fall in love with it when I was about to use it um, Putting cards on it was fine. It's not really hard But I think it's mainly the zipper zipper that really drove me crazy um, I didn't I didn't like how fussy it was and I don't really like items that are fussy so I, you know, I sold it and I was like, you know, it's okay. I've, I have other stuff anyway that would work. So um, yeah, it just didn't work for me. So that's why I got rid of that. Um, and then the last item that I am trying to get rid of or trying to sell is this item right here. And you guys have seen this because I have filmed my um, Louis Vuitton video collection so you've seen this but this is the cosmetic pouch in the pm size or the smaller size and this one is in amazing condition like again excellent like new um everything is perfect no rubbing on the corners that i can see this one i've gotten back in 2019 when we went to spain and this particular piece is made in france so the reason why I'm getting rid of it is I'm actually, I haven't used it in a while. I think mainly because of the shape of it. So I know that it's cosmetic pouch and you can put a ton of stuff in it. However, one of the reasons why I haven't really used it is because of the shape. See how it's kind of like triangle? So you can put a ton of stuff. However, you can't really put a ton of stuff because once you start putting a lot of stuff in it, it starts to really bulge on the side. And I don't like that. I don't like bulging because I don't want the canvas to be damaged. So I had to kind of like limit what I have to put in. I was very selective about what I put. And so that kind of like drove me nuts. I'm like, yeah, everything drives me crazy. Um, I don't want to be, I don't want something that's finicky. And the size of it too is a lot bigger compared to my, like the purses that I have, I mean, a ratio wise, it can't fit, but I feel like if I am to use this and put all my stuff inside and put it in the purse, this is gonna be the only thing that's gonna be in the purse. So I was initially looking for the toiletry pouch 15, but they didn't have it. And so I settled for this one. And so I ended up not using it a ton. I can only use this one if I have a big, big purse. And 99% of the time, my purses are really not big, so I stopped using it. It's still in really great condition. I know I can use it for like travel, but I don't really use it for you know my 
my travel duffel I don't put it in there I don't know I just feel like this is something that I when I bought it I had the intention of using it to use for my purse for daily stuff but it just didn't work out other than that it's a great piece canvas is really great too so I know that the canvas then is like the canvas then they're very different from the what they have now I feel like the one that they have now is kind of like on the thinner side so it's not as sturdy but the canvas for both of those items my Clements in the um, cosmetic pouch is it's really great and I think it will last for a long time I mean I've had I listed both of those but if I don't sell them it's it's okay however if you guys are interested in any of in both of those items or in any of those items let me know leave a comment down below and um, yeah anything else I think that's all I've got for you guys for today thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next video have a good one bye bye